a Jewish businessman and philanthropist, is giving millions of dollars of his wealth to help Christian missionary doctors in Africa. Mark Gerson, along with his wife, Rabbi Eric Gerson, Erica Gerson, is giving $5 million over the next 10 years to fund Christian mission teaching hospitals across the African continent. The Gersons say the goal is to provide excellent health care and train the next generation of African health professionals. Working with Africa Mission Healthcare Foundation, the Gersons hope the funds will give, access, Af uh, give Africans access to quality, compassionate health care for generations to come. Joining me to discuss the initiative is Jewish philanthropist and entrepreneur Mark Gerson and Dr. John Fielder. Both, by the way, are co-founders of African Mission Healthcare Foundation. Gentlemen, thanks for coming on the show. Mark, why does a Jewish philanthropist like yourself care about helping Christian missionary doctors in Africa? Well, first, George, thank you. And the, uh, the Torah uh, tells us more than it tells us anything else. It tells us 36 times in various ways to love the stranger. So when my wife, who's a rabbi, and I think about how best we can discharge that Jewish obligation to love the stranger, we're drawn to the most effective and efficient way to do so, which is to support the Christian medical missionaries who are providing care to the poor in Africa. Uh, John, to you, uh, how do you propose to put this $5 million to use? Well, this incredible gift from the Gersons will allow us to support two young, growing mission teaching hospitals in Africa. And each of those facilities will receive $250,000 every year for 10 years to help them solve uh, a variety of problems like water and power and internet and scholarships for their health workers and housing, whatever that hospital needs to make sure that it's growing and training more African healthcare professionals. Mark, Christian Missionary Hospitals, as you know, provide one-third of uh, medical care uh, in Africa. So these institutions are, uh, are vital lifelines uh, in Africa, right? Absolutely. Um, these institutions are not only vital lifelines, but they are the, often the only place where the African poor can come and get any kind of medical care. So very often, almost always, the difference between getting any medical care and getting no medical care is the Christian medical missionary serving in that hospital. Uh, John, how, how challenging is it uh, to get good, uh, reliable health care in Africa? You know, George, we're here in Houston now at Lakewood Church with our friend, Dr. Paul Osteen, who is uh, both a minister at Lakewood Church, but he's also a general surgeon and a medical missionary who spends a lot of his year in Africa. And sometimes he's in Zambia in a region the size of Louisiana, and he is the only general surgeon sometimes in that whole entire area. And talk about uh, some of the, uh, the challenges that they face, just for example, in Zambia and, and other places like uh, Burundi uh, uh, in South Sudan. Um, if you can elaborate a little bit more on, on that, John. Well, you know, first for the patient, even, even getting to the hospital, the roads are bad, the hospital can be 20, 25 miles or more away without any vehicles or, or ways to get there. Uh, power is often unreliable. That means water then is often unreliable. Uh, equipment is old or non-existent. So people are really uh, stringing together uh, very limited resources uh, to try to save people's lives and relieve suffering. And in some of these places, as we look at the video, uh, the story from Burundi uh, of the Kibuye Hope Hospital, where Dr. John um, uh, Fader is, is part of the mission there. Uh, when you look at the challenges that folks like him and so many others, Mark, across the continent face, um, these folks, they, they give up their lifestyles in the United States and other parts of the world to go to these remote parts, remote corners of Africa, uh, to put their practice uh, and their skills uh, to practice. Right, Mark? Absolutely. Uh, George, these people are moral superheroes. I mean, the extent of the gift that they give to humanity is extraordinary. And if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. But these are true superheroes who are devoting their entire lives to living in conditions that most of us would consider impossible, working in medical conditions that all the doctors I know say are impossible, except they're not because these physicians work in them to provide the indispensable care to the African poor. 
And uh, the least that I can do, the least that we can do, is to support their work, to, as John said, to help create power, medicine, electricity, water, equipment, the basics of what they need to provide the care to the patients that they do. Okay, terrific, guys. We need to leave it right there. Thank you so much for joining us on the show again. Thank you, George.